This video will put forward the idea that pi is not just a static mathematical constant, but that it is also a dynamic physical constant of creation. The language of the universe can be based on geometry, with a square representing a square, and a sphere representing a sphere. We know that the electron is spherical, and with this info we know that we have to square the radius of the sphere to get the surface area. Therefore we have a square of charge as a constant within this geometrical process. We also have the Planck constant linked to 2 pi representing one rotation of the sphere. This is quite a lot of geometrical information to draw a picture of what is actually happening. The dynamic part of this process is divided into two parts in the form of the absorption and emission of light. The mathematics and geometry we will use to explain this part of the process we will take from the golden ratio. The mathematics of the golden ratio is divided into two parts, A and B. This can represent the absorption and emission of light, photon energy, that forms a process of continuous energy exchange. This can be put into geometrical form by taking the two ends of the line and joining them together to form a circle. If we then place a point in the center of the circle and draw lines out across the radius to the A and B on the surface of the sphere, the angle formed at the center is the golden angle, 137.5 degrees. Mathematically, we have to square section A to form the golden rectangle out of section B. If we continuously repeat this process with smaller and smaller rectangles, we form the Fibonacci spiral. And this is exactly what we have within this process. We have a square in the form of the charge of the electron being squared with the spontaneous absorption and emission of light, photon energy, forming a repetition of the process. At the most fundamental level, this is a process of spherical symmetry forming and breaking that is relative to the atoms of the periodic table. We are within this process as an interactive part of the process, forming our own timeline relative to the energy and momentum of our actions. In this diagram, the future is unfolding relative to the energy and momentum of the ball and its position near the surface of the Earth. At the smallest scale of this process, the spherical symmetry can be seen as Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. With the movement of charge as the future unfolds, photon by photon, this spherical symmetry is broken, photon by photon, as the ball flies through the air relative to the energy of the Earth's gravitational field. This process forms a period of time. And if we reformulate Heisenberg's uncertainty principle, based on energy and time, we find 2 pi representing line symmetry. This line symmetry represents the timeline of the ball, with the Planck constant being a constant of action in the dynamic geometrical process of space and time. The same process of spherical symmetry forming and breaking has the potential to form the most beautiful of geometrical shapes, with the Fibonacci spiral being visible almost everywhere in nature. In this theory, we have a universal process of energy exchange, or what I like to call continuous creation. The universe is a continuum, with the future unfolding relative to the energy and momentum of each object or life form. Thanks for watching. Please share and subscribe. It will help the promotion of this 
theory.